And not all heroes wear capes. News. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Submitted by Show Me the Moolah. Mm-hmm. An off-duty pilot on vacation with his family had to step up to fly a plane after the original pilot failed to show up. Whoa. Oh, what? I feel like that's not a hero. I feel like I wouldn't like that. If they're, if he's in the plane, and then the pilot dies, and then this dude saves the plane, hero. Yeah. But if the plane's on the ground, now you're just putting everybody's life at risk. <laughs> with the new pilot. Yeah, yeah, yeah just like, yeah, oh, yeah, trust yeah, me, yeah. I got it. Yeah, that's That's, true. that's different. Yeah, you're true. right. That's different. Or what if they needed to get somewhere? If it's an emergency, they gotta get somewhere. Yeah, they're like, come on, man, it's Christmas. <laughs> you know, it's like in the movies. No, no. Um, I got a place to get to. Tim Allen's at home yeah. waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, so this actually says, dad steps in to fly plane to Spain after original pilot delay. So at the actual airport, they had told some of the customers and they let them know ahead of time, like, hey, we can't find your pilot, but don't worry, one of the passengers is a pilot. This, is a, com this is a commercial flight. The, yeah. This is just a regular, I'm hopping on Southwest. So he's insured and he's liable and he's all that stuff? You just have a license and you're like, don't worry about it. Here, license. That's uh, Dumb and Dumber, right? He's like, don't worry, I'm a limo driver. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. Yeah. Or how off duty? Is he like straight up unrelated to the airline? Or, or is he? A, is it Southwest true. flight yeah. and he's an off duty Southwest true. pilot? That's he's riding back home. What I thought. No. That's fine. He, he's on, I, it said he was on summer vacation, so I'm like, okay, is he, maybe he's yeah. on summer vacation. He's a China yeah. Airlines pilot, yeah. and he's just like cross wow. jobs like that. Sketch. Leonardo DiCaprio and catch me if you can. If they tell me, if they tell me, and then I could choose like, no, I'll take my money back, that's cool. I'm I'll take my money back, yeah. Or, or if you could choose to go on. Fuck no, I would not get on. No, I know, but I'm saying, if you don't tell me, and I just yeah, hop on this thing, he's like, hey, this is Dave on vacation, I'm gonna be oh, taking you home today. This. Yeah, I'd be pissed. So this is how it basically went. This, this pilot, he's, I guess, I guess he's on vacation or something. He's like straight up chilling. And this is so weird to me. Before going through airport security, maybe this is pilot culture, okay? Before going through airport security, he calls, he like called them and was like, hey, do you guys need me for anything? Like, that makes it sound like your example, like he works for them. Like he kidnapped yeah. the like pilot. Oh. Yeah, or I was thinking he kidnapped oh. that pilot, and he's like, yeah. hey, you guys need me? I was, thinking that. I was thinking like an off-duty fireman, like, hey, heard there's a fire, a big fire going on in the yeah, east. Yeah, yeah. You all work for the same department. Yeah, yeah or it, something. It, I, I just feel like, for me, it makes more sense that he works for the company, but I think the headline just wanted to make it seem like he did it, because yeah. they're like, dad steps in to fly a plane, off-duty pilot. They don't like connect him at all to the actual thing, but so like, like he calls them in security like before he's leaving he's like hey i really want to go on a holiday do you guys need me for anything so i feel like he has to Maybe. know yeah. you know oh i see um, so it says so i phoned up easy jet and said hiya i'm standing in the terminal doing nothing and i very much like to <laughs> if you need a favor i'm standing here ready to go and they say like um yeah we'll phone you right back and then it says 38 seconds later they said please 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 with a really big cherry on top could you please fly the airplane to alicante Maybe he just wanted to go on a trip. Exactly, he, he, he just wants a free flight. Yeah. I mean. That's what it seemed like. Yeah, it is what it seems like. Yeah, yeah. I guess Maybe so. he just got his license and he's like. He's oh like, no. To fly again. That's true, when I got my driver's license, I was like, dad, can I take the car and I'll just drive. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go get the mail. Yeah, and yeah, then you get yeah, in the yeah, car and then just yeah, go get yeah. the mail. Does he work for an airline? <laughs> he had a big ass driveway. <laughs> I, I don't has he ever flown a, a commercial, a passenger plane? Yeah, it's all sketch. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Dude, I wonder if there's like different levels, like there's the car, you know you have to get like different M1 That's what and I'm car saying. or whatever. That's yeah, what I'm no, like there definitely is, there definitely is. Yeah. Like a, because there's this private There's a little plane. Cessna, there's a prop. Yeah, there's no, there's a bunch yeah. of different stuff. The only time I'd feel comfortable if he was like a fucking straight up like Air Force or high class, like. That's what a lot of those yeah. uh, commercial guys are. If they're like yeah. super level guys, I'm just like, y'all fucking flew C-130s and shit before. That's the only reason I have some kind of like okay flying. Like I don't like flying. I get a little anxiety. I think everybody gets a little scared because it's weird. Like just a little thought. Like all right, we could go down. But yeah. I never got that. Not even at once. No, really? I love flying. Okay. I don't mind it. That's why it's so crazy you to me know, when with turbulence. I like with crazy. Well, I've had some bad turbulence. I'm yeah. like, this might be. Our, our fucking prayer, airplane went like skidded and shit. Like yeah. in the air was like oh. Yeah. Colorado, were you? Oh, that, yeah. I just know. We landed like this. We landed like this in Colorado. We swear, because the wind was so bad. <laughs> swear, swear. You're still happy? Not That's really. Attractive. Yeah, it does. So most <laughs> crashes happen during takeoff or landing. Yeah. So ever since I found that out, I'm terrified of takeoff. Yeah. The only thing that gives me confidence is most of the commercial guys are ex Air Force guys. And so well, you the think statistics like, is just super fucking low compared True. to a car. Yeah. True. Like, 
That's why rationalizing it, I feel like being in the car is a lot more scarier. The, the statistics are skewed because of the uh, how common it is. We get in a car five times a day, we yeah. get in an airplane once a so day. And, and, yeah, and it's also, like I, it's hard for me to think of statistics when it's like, <laughs> oh, there's only a 13% chance. <laughs> All of it sketches me out. I took a long Uber ride last night to get to their house. <laughs> I got the wrong place, and, I, and you hear on the news all the time weird things happening in yeah. Uber, and I'm like a pretty big dude, I'm whatever, 5'8", yeah. 190, so I shouldn't really be scared, but every time I get in a car, I'm like, man, this dude's a total stranger. Like, total stranger, yeah. like, this feels weird. And then pilots, total stranger. You don't even see them. You don't, can't even see them no yeah. more. They used to have the door open, you know? I, I don't know if you guys- I wanna see you. Well, they see you at the end. Before 9-11, they had the door open, and yeah. you, you look yeah. in there, they, they'd let kids sit in the cockpit yeah, yeah. and shit. There was like, totally normal. They but, see you at the end. Maybe. And they, they stand there and if they say thank you. If you make it. That's true. <laughs> oh yeah, they used to leave the door open and stuff. You should have made it each time, no, no, I feel oh, like. That's what I mean, yeah. It used to be way different. Update, guys. I read another article. I found another one. This is an actual easy jet pilot. Okay, oh. that makes yeah, me yeah. feel a little bit. So he actually works there. The article tried to like make it seem like he yeah. wasn't because they were saying like, I asked the guy at the desk what's going on. He said, oh, your pilot's gone Fucking missing. But, th <laughs> that, this, but that guy over oh, in aisle God. 15 is going to fly your plane. Like, that's kind of what they told people, and people were saying, luckily, the guy was actually a pilot. Probably would have been canceled without him. What a legend. And I'm like, bro, he fucking yeah. works there. Now it's less cool. And I don't want to be that guy, but, like, there are some real fucking heroes going around in the world, and, like, that's not a hero to me. Like, a delayed yeah. plane isn't life or death. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's some, there's some real, you know, there's cops, there's yeah. firemen, there's military, there's dads that are saving their own kids somehow. Dude, I just saw a whole compilation right now on Twitter of fucking dads coming to the rescue of like fucking like baseballs coming, bam, oh, blocking dad that. Dad reactions. Yeah. That shit's dumb. Dad reactions is so good. Yeah. Have you seen pets saving kids? Yeah. Oh my, compilations of pets yeah. saving kids? Or pets saving pets? Dogs and cats? There was this dog saving this other dog from drowning. Like oh. grabbed it by the neck, like pulled oh, it out. So it was the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh. Twitter's really good for stuff like that. Yeah. I saw a bunch of dogs save another bunch of dogs on a canoe. That's dope. Shit. Yeah, that's dope. Dude, I'm so like <laughs> those are I heroes, all American heroes. The dog was canoeing and he came upon some drowning dogs. <laughs> You're like, hey, up on in, buddy. Afternoon row. <laughs> I love dad reactions now and dad jokes. Like as I get older, I hate dad jokes. I love it. I love it so much. Are dad jokes puns? Because if so, I I do. Kind of puns. No, nah, but there could be witty puns that aren't dad jokes. But a lot of dad I jokes don't know are any puns. Any puns are witty. <laughs> like really simple jokes. I, I I don't know. Like like if a waitress drops off her food and it's like, how's everything? And they're like, well, I don't know. I haven't had it yet or some shit. Like, oh, oh my like, god, that's, that's a, a bad one. Bad but like the Here's stupid ones, one. like that. Okay, Wait, uh, here, you, you finish all the food at the restaurant yeah. and the, the waitress is like, how was it? Oh, and then you go, that? oh, I, you gotta send it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Look, <laughs> that, yeah, that joke. That joke. That joke. Yeah. You made that joke. Yeah. Yeah. It was terrible. It was terrible. I only got. Yeah, yeah. And they all think they're so fucking original. It. It's so funny. I don't think I'm funny. I know I'm. I'm I know I'm but, being lame. Okay, I think dads do too, kinda. That yeah, waitress yeah. heard it probably 15 to 40 times that night. <laughs> she had heard well, it. Okay, I guess for like. Well, I don't know. No, she has to laugh so you'll tip her. She's like, ah, that's so. I've never heard that one. Funny. No, my my hilarious. guy was a big Simone guy. Dude, <laughs> waitress for like four years, and I never got to hear any dad jokes really, or maybe I didn't appreciate them. But I did have this one time where like <laughs> this dead. old man, he's like, I worked at Hooters. He was oh, like, that's seven. why. You yeah, you got purse. Well, yeah, I worked yeah. at TGI Fridays too, oh. and I didn't get I didn't get any dad jokes. But it's this old man, he's like seventy, and like he's got his son with him, or like his grandson or something. He's like a young kid, and so I bring him a grill. I bring him like chicken, and like then it's like bread on the side and then I was like how's everything looking can I get you guys everything else and because the kid was there he like pulls me in and he was like why don't you go on and slather yourself up with some butter and get on between these two pieces of toast? <laughs> and I that's was like, her. That's not a dad joke. I was like, uh, I was like, that's sexual assault. How old is that kid? Moses is always like, I was raised so oh, okay. wholesome in church. And then she's like, so when I was working at Hooters, this kid, I was like, ooh. I'm not sure that's a dad joke. That yeah, sounds yeah. like a that sexual harassment. Like, I didn't get dad jokes. That's what I got. I would have oh, loved Maybe it is the restaurant. Joke. Maybe it is the Run restaurant. Slather yourself up between some butter. And I'm like, yeah. I kind of wish, only for like a week, <laughs> that guys got catcalled like that. 
Oh, you guys would love it. For a week, yeah, I would yeah. love it. Uh, for my whole life, I'd probably get I sick of it just like you guys. When I'm an older lady, I will definitely hit on younger oh, men. Yeah. Can you that. imagine all of the just girls? see them uncomfortable. <laughs> we're just at the park. We can barely walk anymore. We're like, come here, baby. We want to get up in that. I think yeah. they would oh, love I think, guys, we, we're so thirsty for attention, we would love it. No, yeah, old, but that's, ugly, is fat. Is that where like cougars it. come from at yeah. 40? Because it's when it's starting. 40 is a cougar? I hope really? not. Early See, that makes 40s. us feel. I hope not. 40s? I think it's the Stop age it. difference. Stop <laughs> lumping me into your old we're talk. The <laughs> we're, the, we're the same age. If it's we're 40 and 20, that's a cougar. <laughs> oh, it's the ratio? What about 30 What about thirty to 18? Cougar. cougar. Really? Cougar, yeah. I don't think a 30 year old's a cougar. I don't think a 30 year old's a cougar. I think you gotta get some silver fox going before you're a cougar. 30 and 18. You think you're a cougar? You're not a cougar. I think it's the, I think I think it's the, it's the yeah, the gap. So you, yeah. you make a cat call at a 20 year old, you're a cougar now. Yeah. When are you a bobcat? Yeah, there's like there's different oh, tiers. Yeah. There's bobcat. There, there's there is. There's, 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 there's like. I said once. I said I feel like they had to start getting gray before they could be a cougar. That's what I thought. No, silver fox. That's what, that, it's a term. So I when they're that. 80, they're a sloth. They're totally silver. Oh. But I'm saying like to be a cougar, I thought maybe you need a little gray. And I know that happens. Like, I got to. I just have to date someone that's I don't 10 years old. Fuck a grandma. 10 years? Yeah. No, that's that's what's fun about it. Dude, they just get to hit on you and just watch you be up. I'm gonna be a <laughs> nasty old okay. woman. I already know. Well, I, yeah, I, I already. It. I treat my boyfriend like a piece of meat already. I already know. I'll be like, come over here, young man. And hit on one. I just don't want to fuck one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 It's like it's like a I cool little ego boost. Yeah, I like the attention. Yeah, you don't know, know what really she's packing though. You know Whoa. what I mean? She's got years of experience. Yeah, no, for sure. Mm-hmm. I didn't uh -huh. experience it probably. And like, imagine like an older, super confident woman that knows that you, as a little twenty-five-year-old man, are just right in between. You, know, she knows. She's confident. She no. But she looks like a fucking yeah. bag of raisins. Yeah, yeah. Guys are too visual for that. Yeah, Girls are the opposite. Yeah, very true. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I want to fuck an old guy either. No, I don't I'm not gonna know. fuck a dehydrated prune. I think there's a lot of girls. I think there's a lot of girls that are in. How old? Well, look. Uh, I was just. And you like, gotta be rich then. Yeah, the Earth are really funny, or who knows? They, they're not like, oh, this guy's so attractive. They're like, oh, his no, wallet think, is attractive. I think sometimes, like people say, like whatever George Clooney, like look. Because when I'm thinking. That's not an old guy. I'm, when I'm thinking cougar, I'm thinking um, over so. 60 for women. Yeah. I, mean, I was thinking over 50. Okay, right, George Clooney's hot. I would. I think or or Brad, Brad Pitt's got to be over. 50. I'm down with Brad Pitt. He's yeah, old, he's over 50. It's yeah. the way he they talk to you. No, they gotta have good. some charm, like some good charisma. Good. They are there's good there's old charismatic, yeah. charming dudes. Good job. No, no. I just think dudes can Herbert? age better than women sometimes. Herbert yeah. to a girl's eye compared to a guy's eye. I'm just yeah. saying, yeah. when I made a tender, I made my max age 43. Wow, Why 43? That's, that's pretty old. Like so specific. Yeah, well, no, 44. Like, 44, 44 is just getting up there. Like 40, 43 is like right on the edge. You know? that, that, that just means your real border is 40, but you're just trying to give yeah. them a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I know. 